Are you bringing home a Ridgeback puppy? Something a very, very exciting time, but when are they allowed to go outside? Well, we have the answer. Welcome back to the Fenro Ridgeback Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenroCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Ridgeback and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. If you're bringing home a Ridgeback puppy, I'm sure you're very, very excited and something you should definitely learn is when you're allowed to let them outside. And today we're gonna to be tuning into a webinar that the canine behaviorist and founder of FenroCanineLeaders.com, Will, has recorded all about when you're allowed to let your puppy outside. So one of the most common questions I get from any breed, from all owners, is when can I take my dog outside or when should I even take it into the garden? And this is one of those questions that is hotly debated amongst different vets, different trainers, different breeders, different experts, different YouTubers. We all have our own opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down my opinion on the matter, but I also need to give the disclaimer that I'm I'm not a vet this is just my opinion of what I do with my dogs and it is one of those situations unfortunately where nobody can tell you what you need to do you need to do your research do your education and ultimately make the decision for yourself now when it comes to my opinion I come at the kind of argument at the discussion at the debate from the perspective as a canine behaviorist I see every single day when dogs go ultimately wrong when dogs have savaged children, when dogs have killed other dogs, those images are sent to me and burnt into my brain. So I naturally come from any discussion from trying to avoid that from happening in the first place. One of the best things that you can do for your dog is to socialize them positively, effectively, and consistently from a young age. One of the best psychological development windows for you to do this is between the age of eight to 12 weeks. The debate gets murky when people say that their dogs haven't had the jabs and are therefore not protected from all different types of diseases in that window. Now, in my personal opinion, I still socialize my personal dogs heavily in that window. Yes, there is a risk. In my opinion, it's a slight risk. There is always a risk. There's a risk that your dog and you could get run over by a bus even after they've had their jabs. With life, there's risk. In my opinion, the reward of having a well-balanced, well-socialized dog that has been capitalized on that early window is more important than the risk associated with them picking up any kind of disease. But yes, the risk is there. Now, I always advocate that you take any necessary precautions as possible. When it comes to your garden, for example, that is an environment that you can control heavily. In the weeks and months leading up to getting your puppy, do not let other dogs into your garden that haven't been well vaccinated. If you live in an area where maybe you get foxes or different animals come and they do number ones and twos in your garden, yes, then maybe you have an issue and you need to be more cautious and more careful, but that is where constant, vigilant monitoring and controlling of your dog's environment helps you to ensure that you minimize the risk wherever possible. When you're out socializing your dog, don't take them to play Places where you know there might be dogs off lead that have done a number one or number two which is the most common way for them to pick up many of these diseases that they can sniff lick eat that kind of horrible thing that puppies can and will do minimize that risk as much as possible is what I personally choose to do now it isn't just me that shares this thought I'm about to read you a quote from the American Kennel Club's website for this reason the American Veterinary Society of Animal Behavior recommends that puppies be socialize before vaccine series is complete. Its guidelines states that puppies can start socialization classes as early as seven to eight weeks of age. As a rule, they should receive a minimum of one set of vaccines at least seven days prior to their first class, as well as a first deworming. The training school should ensure that all puppies in the class are up to date on vaccines and that the facility is clean, so the risk of catching anything is very small. Now, that's a small segment from a very long article on the American Kennel Club's website around socialization. And that shows that even organizations as large as that are becoming aware of the importance of early socialization. So my personal opinion, 
I'm not a vet, I'm a behaviorist and a trainer. My personal opinion is that socializing your dog early is of critical importance. And I personally believe that owners have a responsibility to socialize their dogs as efficiently and as effectively as possible whilst minimizing any risks wherever possible. Now again, I can't tell you to do that. I can simply tell you that that's what I personally believe and it's your choice, it's your responsibility to go out. There's gonna be people that will say, never let your dog out of the house for the first 12 weeks. Go and listen to them, listen to what their reasons are and make the decision for yourself what you do. My personal opinion, get out there and socialize your dog as much as you can or at least that's what I do. I hope that helps, I hope that my two cents helps you make an informed decision of the best approach for you and your dog. But put the work in, get out there, become a high level canine leader and you'll raise perfect canine companions. There you have it guys, some really useful information from Will there, all about when you're allowed to let your puppy outside. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have three dedicated videos coming out every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir Ridgeback Show.